Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project plug bank system and I have developed this project in React JS, Spring Boot and MySQL. So for front-end development, I have used the React JS applications, right? And uh, for uh, API development means for backend, I am using the Spring Boot and uh, for database, I am using the MySQL, right? If you talk about the ID parts, then uh, for React JS development, I have used the Visual Studio Code for uh, Spring Boot part I have used uh, uh, that STS Spring Boot Tool Suits version 4, MySQL version 5.6, right? And if you are talking about the port, then I'm running this Tomcat server means for Spring Boot application, I'm using port 8080-8080 and for React JS part, I'm using the port 3000, right? So these all things, technologies we have used for developing this project and also this is a partial bootstrap theme where we have used HTML and CSS and some of the libraries, React.js libraries, right? So these all things, these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project, right? So the main purpose of this project is to develop and to manage a blood bank. So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have developed, what are the uh, features available in this project, what modules are available inside this project, right? So let's start. So first of all, this is a Spring Boot React and MySQL based project, right? So this is the home page and this is a static home page. There is nothing dynamic on it. We are not fetching any type of data from database. Each and every is coming from the local React database page. So this is a static page. You can see there is a slide running on the home page. This is a about project and this is also a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. And now come on the search part. So from here you can search the hospitals. So you can see there are number of hospitals coming from the database and this is coming from the Spring Boot API and we are rendering on the React.js page, right? So these all hospitals are coming from the database and this is a hospital and you can search hospital from here, right? So this is a, a smart search, right? Means if you want to search hospital in Noida, just search noida it will show all of the hospital which is in noida but if you want to search a specific hospital like kalas hospital right uh, so it will show you the kalas hospital details right if you click on it then you, it will show you the details of that hospital and these all informations are coming from the database the same thing is for the blood so this is the blood bank list of all blood banks which admin has added from the backend panel and uh, there is a uh, admin operations also available inside this project so admin can add any number of blood banks and you can search from here the same search right if you want to search the blood bank noida then you can search from just enter noida and you can you will get all of the blood banks which is in noida if you want to search any specific blood bank then it will search for the specific blood bank right okay so this is if you want to reset it just click on the reset the blood bank search will be reset the next one is a blood inventory if you click on this then you will get the details of that blood bank right next one is a blood inventory so this is all of the blood inventories which is available in different uh, blood bank hospitals right so this is a centralized system we have developed to manage the blood inventories of different blood banks right so here you can see this is the this logo is coming everything which is coming on the page is coming from the database through api all of the images all of the things are coming from the database right so you can see this is the a positive 56 units available 38 units available these are the available units and these are the details of that blood bank right if you want to see any uh, specific uh, blood bank just search that blood bank here you will be able to see okay there are two hospitals right this is the trust bank where 40 units are available and these are the 30 units which are available right if you want to search bloods in any uh, city then you can search that blood in that city right so this is also a smart search right if you want to see the details just click on it and you will be able to see the details of the blood this is the blood group name is a positive a negative quantity 30 units are available in this blood bank this is the blood bank name is trust bank and the details and the blood details and policy this is the policy which has been added by the admin right so this page will show all of the blood bloods inventories from different blood banks right so these are the search now request if you want to donate a blood then just click 
on the request and after that you can fill this form and after that you can submit this page and this information the information of this page will be saved into the database and admin can edit delete any admin can contact you right if you so this is a basic level of uh, validations available here like you can't submit the blank page right so this is a submit this drop downs is coming from the database right so these are the details right so this is a need of blood if you want to request a blood so these are the forms in details this is a form for requesting the blood and this when a customer fill this form then the details of this page will be displayed by displayed to the admin and admin can connect with you this is a login from here admin can log in right this is a static contact us page there is nothing dynamic on it it's a simple contact us page only the form we are not saving the value we are not submitting this data we are not sending any type of sms email from this page this is a totally static page now i'm going to log in as an admin so just i am entering the so it's saying that okay invalid user so email id is incorrect right submit right so if i enter the incorrect details then it will be validated from the database it's saying that invalid user id and password but if i enter the correct data right then you will get this page right this is admin dashboard and admin can perform these operations right whom i already explained you or about us i already explained this is a hospital management here you will get all of the hospitals right you can add new hospital so you can see this is the new hospital page and you can uh, uh, see the report also right so next hospital management if you want to delete any hospital just click on the delete and this is a confirmation for delete and once you click on the yes that hospital will be deleted i have not deleted it yet right so this is the ad hospital the same is the blood bank management so this is the ad blood bank report so here from you will be able to see all of the blood banks which you have added from the database and this is add new bank from here you can add the blood bank details right same here the, this is the donors report all of the donors who has registered on the website will be displayed here you can edit the donor even you can submit it and you can add a new donor too right so this is the donor report this is a secret so means new request right so this is the add new blood request right if anyone is calling you for a blood request then you can add a blood request here right even you can edit and delete the request from here also right this is a blood management all of the bloods which you have added will be displayed here you can see these are the units is our contact number email and the bank name each and every information are displaying here right if you want to add new banks then add new blood just click on add and after that you will select this fields and those data will be saved into the database through the api right so this is the blood uh, so yes this is the blood management right here you can see there are multiple tables we have joined here and these data these data are coming from the multiple tables right now so, so these are the dashboard parts logout if you click on the logout so this is a session driven menu and if you click on the logout then the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages this menu will not be displayed let me show you you can see the menu has been changed but if you log in then the menu will be changed because it's a session driven it's coming according to the session right you can see it has changed right the same thing which is available here also here available in this part so you can see these are the add forms right from here you can add any of the forms right so these are the add forms these are the report forms all of the report will be displayed here right so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project in blood bank management system and as i told you this is a uh, this is a uh, react js spring boot and mysql based project right and i am using sds for developing the spring boot application and the visual studio code for developing the react application so if you need any extra feature any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much